Enable the read receipts, go to WhatsApp and in the top right hand side go to the settings menu, select account and go to privacy. Now first let me tell you what actually are read receipts. Now if someone is sending you a message and you have read that message inside WhatsApp, the sender will get a notification in the form of blue text over that message that the message which is sent has been read at the other end. Now to disable this feature, you just need to go to this private setting and uncheck the read receipts. Now please keep that in mind, if you turn off read receipts, you won't be able to see read receipts of other people's and this is not applicable for group chats also. So inside group chats, other people can see if their message is read or not. To hide the WhatsApp images from your gallery, what you need to do is you need to install an application known as ES File Explorer, which is an advanced file explorer where you can create files. Your default file explorer won't allow you to create new files inside folders. So go ahead to the Play Store and download the ES File Explorer. I have already downloaded this. Now let me go to my gallery and show you that I have a folder known as WhatsApp Images. Now everybody will have this folder and it will contain all the images of your WhatsApp. So to hide this folder, just go to the ES File Explorer and navigate to the WhatsApp folder, go to Media, WhatsApp Images and here what you need to do is on the top right hand side you can find three dots. Select this and press New and create a new file. So the name of the file should be dot no media. So this dot is very important, press OK. So once this is done, just minimize all the things and close all the applications and once again start it. So once I open this, if I go down, you can see that there is no WhatsApp images folder. There is WhatsApp videos, there is WhatsApp animated GIFs, but there is no WhatsApp images folder. So in this way you can hide an WhatsApp folder. If you want to hide this videos also from gallery, you can repeat the same step for as for images. Change the font formatting, go to WhatsApp and there are four different types of font formatting which are supported in WhatsApp now. The first one is to change the font itself. So you can use this symbol three times and type it any word. Now this symbol I think is known as the grave accent. So you can see the font is changed. The second one is to make the letters bold. So you can use the asterisk, type in and again type the asterisk, it will change it to bold. Now you can also change it to italic. Now what you need to do is you need to use the underscore. So it will change it to italic and the for the strike to strike through, you need to select the tilde. and once again select the strike through so in this way you can change the different phones uh, in whatsapp now if you have tried to set rectangular images as your profile pictures in whatsapp whatsapp doesn't allow you to select the whole picture it only allows you a square shape profile picture so to add rectangular images as your profile picture you need to download an application known as square instapic you can download it from the play store now select gallery and select the picture which you want to set up as the the display picture of whatsapp which is in rectangular format so i'll click on this image now you can see that it's a rectangular image now what this square instapic will do is it will add a border and make it a square you can Change different color schemes from the below. I'll keep this as it is. Once done, in the top right hand side, you can click on the save icon and just press save. So once that image is saved, now you can go to WhatsApp. From the settings, you can click on the display image, click on the camera icon and select gallery and go to the folder named as square instapic. So I'll select this. I'll select this picture now you can see that I can select my whole picture as a display image previously if it's a rectangular image you can't select this 
press OK and you can see that I have updated the rectangular images as my DP. To create shortcuts for your important contacts, open WhatsApp, go to the contact and long press the contact once it is selected, go to the three dots on the top right hand side and select add chat shortcuts. Once you do this, your chat for that specific contact will be added on your home screen. So instead of going to WhatsApp and then opening your contact, you can directly go to your you can create a shortcut for your contact.